the carpenter's hand that well that really that was I knew straight away when uh, we were walking on the beach in Scarborough on a on a sort of a blustery autumn day my daughter Leah uh, found this um, rusty old ship's nail I, I don't know how old it is but it must be pretty old it'd been on the bottom of the sea and it had encrusted with stones and sand and, and actually grown in size and I took it off her and said look I'll look after that for you put it away I knew straight away as I was driving home that I was going to do Hand of the Carpenter, Stigmata or you know Crucifixion, whatever you want to call it. I knew that that nail would, would look fantastic as the centrepiece to, uh, to such a sculpture. Of course it took four years before I felt that A, you know, my technique was up to doing the sculpture justice and B, I wanted really to have it complete for the uh, my first London exhibition. When I finally finished the hand, I realised that as big as the nail was, probably I would say around the size of the width of a 50 pence piece, it wasn't big enough to do the sculpture justice. And so I then sort of made the decision to sculpture a bigger 13 inch version, which was then uh, the head was four times or five times the size of the original and that sat quite nicely uh, in the sculpture. I uh, had it cast in iron and distressed it and rusted it and at the same time I thought that the whole thing would make a nice, uh, uh, a nice sculpture in itself so there was a complete 13 inch version of the nail distressed and hand fettled. 